All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to this Brooklyn Bulls franchise. Every time I say the Bull, I would think of the Chicago Bulls. Every time I say Brooklyn Bulls, I want to say Chicago Bulls. But we are the Brooklyn Bulls back here in Madden 21. Before we get this video started, I just want to remind you guys once again that this Saturday, I will be live streaming a podcast with two of my friends, Paul and Luke. Um, it is called, as for now, the Bank on Us podcast. It will be live streamed on this channel sometime saturday night and if you can't make it for the live stream um it will be uploaded either the day after or just immediately after the live stream ends so be sure to check that out i'm going to keep remind you i'll post it on my twitter link down below go follow it i'm pretty sure it's just at bank on me yt go check that out leave a like if you guys do enjoy subscribe if you guys are new we are on the road to a thousand subs we're so so very close to 700 let's see if we can do it and let's get into it. All right, we are week nine, the bye week, and we are sitting at four and four on the season. The Patriots are five and two. We're a game and a half, I think, behind them. Um, we do have five players that we need to negotiate the contracts. Uh, so far, there's no one I want to re-sign. Uh, yeah, there's no one here that I actually want to re-sign. If you guys remember last episode, which was a near two weeks ago, I believe, um, we are officially going to start. Mr. Justin Fields, Philip Rivers is going to go to the bench. After, he's just not been having a good season. Not having a good season at all. Let's look at his stats real quick. Um, 39 years old. This is most likely his last season in the NFL. He's got 14 touchdowns and 11 picks. So, it, that's just not good. He already has more picks than he had last. He threw 42 touchdowns. And it, oh my god, Philip. Um, six, he's just not having a good season at all. And Justin Fields played very well last game, getting subbed in for Phillip. Um, another breakout player was, I think his name's Kylan. Yeah, Kylan Hill. I'm probably saying that wrong. He balled out last episode. Um, can I see game stats? Season stats? Uh, I don't think I can. Oh, I can. All right. Uh, what game was it? I think it was... I forgot what... Oh, it was his Titans game. Yeah, eight carries, 115 yards, and two touchdowns. And he still wasn't starting. It was still Marlon Mack. So, this dude, Kylan Hill and um, Justin Fields, might be the two, you know, offensive players of the future. But in this episode, I believe, I forgot who I said I was going to go against. Is it the Bills? Yeah, we'll go up against the Bills this episode. So, we'll sim, you know, we also get Quinn and Williams back, who is a big addition. So we're going to send these games against the Falcons and against the Dolphins, I believe it is. Yeah, against Falcons and Dolphins. Um, someone got an upgrade. Who is it? Uh, Patrick Awansor. Oh, I don't know how to say his name. All right. And we lose to the Falcons by 11. That's a big loss. Very, very big loss. Our playoff hopes are still alive, obviously. We got a couple upgrades. Playoff hopes are still alive. Let's hope we can beat this very bad Dol Oh, Patriots are 7-2. Let's hope we can beat this Dolphins team. We got to beat this Dolphins team if we want to stay alive in the playoffs. Let's see. And we lost by 10 to the Dolphins. Oh, no. The Bills also lost, but that was a huge L. Where does that put us in the AFC? We got the Chiefs, the Texans, the Ravens, and the Patriots. So, Browns, Steelers, and Titans are all in the playoffs. So, the Raiders, Bengals, Colts... And us are in the hunt. So we would need the Colts, Bengals, and Raiders to lose. Colts, Bengals, and Raiders would need to lose, and we need to win. I think that would put us um at least the closest to the hunt. So Colts, Bengals, and Raiders. Let's see who they're facing. The Colts, Bengals, and Raiders. Where are they? Uh are they not playing? Am I just blind? Colts are playing the Niners. The Bengals and the Raiders. Raiders are playing the football team. Okay. Oh, and the Bengals are playing the Packers. All right. So let's focus on this game against the Bills and see if we can get a win. All right. It, it's very, very unlikely that we'll win the division. So we're fighting for a wild card spot. And the Bengals are playing um, at the same time. Why? See, Hill's starting. At least he's starting with the, the run. But Marlon Mack is the actual starter. The Patriots are going up against Houston. I mean, we're three games behind them. If they can go on a nice losing streak and we go on a winning streak, Justin Fields is going to get Jamison Crowder wide open. That'd be sick. All right, I was going to go running play, but they're in pretty good defense for a run. That was a very bad pass. Please don't pick that off. Thank God. All right, we got second and 10 after that terrible, terrible pass attempt. 
Uh, I'm going to go for another slant, of course. Slant for the win. Bad pass again. I suck. We're going to go half back um, screen here and see if that can get us anything. I doubt it. But, you know, it's good to try. He kill Hill still holds on, but it's not going to be enough. Justin Fields got a hit while throwing. The Bills luckily do not score, and we have it on their 41. So I don't know what happened on their possession, but it worked out for us. Oh, my God, Marlon Mack, Marlon Mack just got suplex. All right, back here with the third down. Our offense is looking really, really effing bad. Really bad. Jack Doyle, please. Nope, we got swatted out. Wow. And we have to punt it, really. This is awful, man. This is really, really awful. Our offense can't do anything. Call for a fair catch. I'm here. Oh, I touched it. Thank God. We give him at the five. And we get the ball right back. I can't say this game's all defense. This game is just no offense. Like, the defenses aren't... It's just no offense. I can't do anything on the offensive end. Kylan Hill with the first big play of the game. It goes for 10 yards. We got second in inches, even though that play went for 10 yards. Doesn't make much sense. Whatever, I guess. Jack Doyle is going to be open. And we finally get a pass completion. Oh, you love to see it. First and 10. Uh, I'm not going to go deep. I'm just not going to. It's just not looking good. Block him, thank you, but it didn't matter. Second and 7 here. I guess this is a play we're running. I mean... We ain't got many good plays. Hernan is wide open. And he's going to get us down to the 8-yard line. We got our first and goal here after that big play by Hernan. Let's see if we can get some. Wow. Oh, good blocking. Whoever just saved that dude. Whoever just blocked him. You deserve a raise. I don't know who that was. But it was about to be a loss of yardage. But he came and got that huge block. Look at this. I think it was 74 got that block. Wow, he just saved that play. And our defense comes up bigs, and the Bills do not score. We are up 7-zip with good field position. 30 seconds left in the first, and Marlon Mack is going to get some decent yardage here. 12 seconds left in this first quarter, up by 7. The, ru the Bills only have 6 rushing yards, and we have 31 in Marlon Mack. Is going to get a lot of... I don't know how many yards. All right, first down. That's an interesting play. And he outran the linebacker. Only if whoever number 24... If he wasn't there, that was a touchdown. It would have been Hill's second touchdown on the game. I'm not liking this defense formation for a run play. But, you know, we're just going to stick with it. We're going to stick with it. And Marlon Mack doesn't go anywhere. Second and 10 here. We're going to run play action. St. Brown... No, no, Crowder's actually going to be the hot route for this one, at least for me. And Jamison Crowder, can he beat? And he does. Micah Hyde, I think that was. Jamison Crowder in the end zone, another touchdown. And we are now up 14 zip. And we just got the ball back on our their 11. Buffalo turned the ball over. Big turnover on downs. Jamison Crowder, he's in the end zone. 21 nothing. Jamison second touchdown and 1,000 yards on the season. Buffalo finally comes down the field and scores a field goal. They have 60 total yards of offense, I think. And we have 180. Oh, I messed up that play, but that was a sick juke. Oh, Jack Doyle just went down. Oh, that ain't good. Wait, let's not do... Oh, okay. Well, there goes our tight end. Hernan's going to be in the game now. Bad play. Bad play. Really bad play. Could have ended extremely bad. I forgot if the Colts um, torn labrum. Oh, that's awful. I forgot. I think so. I think the Colts were in the hunt and they're one of our competition. I believe they just lost to San Fran 7-13. So if that's the case, that is huge. There is n Our team forgot what blocking was there. Green Bay is up by 3 against the Packers that would be a huge if the Packers can win that would be huge for us because Cincinnati's five and five they'll be five and six if they lose and if we win which is looking like it will be five and six so please Packers please Aaron Rodgers if you're still in the league get a win we got a third and six here we're going halfback screen and see if people know what blocking is they kind of do and Kylan Hill is going to get out of bounds at the 23 Oh, we're going to run. 
Oh, wait. He's wide open. Wow, that was... He... Who is that? Is that Antonio Brown? I think that was Antonio Brown. He was wide open. And Justin Fields just completely botched that pass. We're going to give it to Hill again. And, okay, we're going to get a couple yards. Wow, Justin Fields. You was, that was a botched touchdown. We got third and seven here. I doubt we get the conversion. But, you know, you got to have hope. You got to have hope. You got to have hope. And Jamison Crowder's third touchdown of the day. This dude is just my number one option. He does everything on our offense. We are picking apart the Bills. They have done nothing on offense once again. Five and a half minutes left in this third quarter. This is a massacre. All right, the Bills scored a field goal over a Justin Fields interception. I, I didn't show it because I didn't feel a need to. Uh, whoever that... Justin, you gotta be more accurate, G. I know you're on the run, but holy crap. The Buffalo Bills only have 63 passing yards to our 160. That honestly explains a lot. I am... Nope, just throw it away. The Colts lose. That is huge. Oh, wait, I already said that. They're 4-7, and seven, so that eliminates them. It's the Bengals, and I forget who else it was. It was the Bengals and... Raiders. It was the Bengals and Raiders. Bengals, I believe, are still playing. Oh, Vegas isn't playing till later, till after our game. If it, Washington's three and seven. I have a feeling the Raiders might win. Wow, oh my god. Marlon Mack just got destroyed on that play. Oh, we're gonna run with Justin Fields. Oh my god, he almost died. We got third and seven here. The Patriots scored, so they have the lead over the Texans. I'd really like it for the Texans to win. Please, Houston. Oh, please catch this Hernan. In the end zone, fourth touchdown for Fields. He finally throws an accurate deep ball, and we score. This game is obviously just over. The Bills finally scored a touchdown. We have 160 yards of offense, and they don't even have 200. This has just been a massacre. Oh, since seeing Green Bay are tied with 10 minutes left in the fourth. We're not going to figure out the end of that game, um, most likely until... We go back to the main menu. So that is tough because it's right now it's tied. It's like there's no clear win. Oh, man. That's, that's going to be a nail biter. Obviously, we don't know the Raiders game either. So stay tuned to the end because I'm going to show the final scores. And if we're in the playoffs, big run for Marlon Mack. I think we've seen enough of this game. I'll see you at the end. And with 10 seconds remaining, we are here in victory formation. The Texans just scored, which is awesome. We are going to beat the Buffalo Bills to move to 5-6 and six on the regular season. And hopefully the Texans can win. Hopefully the Packers win and the Washington football team win. And that is going to be the end of this game. We'll show you the stats real quick. For Justin Fields, his first start, at least with me playing as him, 17 for 26, 219 yards and 4 touchdowns, 1 pick. Rushing-wise, Marlon Mack, 22 rushes, 96 yards, no touchdown. Hill didn't play that great, but he did have a touchdown. Receiving-wise, this game, um, Hernan actually came in and played really well in replacement of Doyle. James Crowder, probably the best player on this team, 5 catches, 77 yards, and 3 touchdowns. Defense-wise, I want to see what our defense did. Canoe Neal got a pick. And how many sacks? Um, Quincy Roach, who I believe I just started... Got two sacks, and Quinton Williams got a sack. Let's see and hope that the Raiders, the Patriots, and the Bengals lost. Oh, before we check out the games, Justin Fields got an upgrade, and it's going to Field General. And that is going to move up to a 76 overall. He gets plus one play action, mid-accuracy, and short accuracy. That is actually really good. And here we go. Time to see. Oh, okay. I forgot. Um, Doyle got hurt. How long is he out? Uh, four weeks. Ay, ay, ay. We have three key players out for basically the remainder of the season, if you really think about it. Send the next week and see what the records are. Let's go. The Patriots end up losing. We're going to go to schedule. We're not going to go to standings. Oh, we can just check the playoff picture. I'm not going to check it yet. We're going to go to week 12. The Bengals won. That's all right. We're not in it yet. The Bengals won. Uh, let's see. Did the Raiders lose? The Raiders lost. That's huge. The Raiders end up losing, and we already know that the Colts lost. So only the Bengals won. I will take that. That puts the what? 
The Browns are the seventh seed. Then it's the Bengals and us, I believe, in the hunt. That's big. We go to five and six. Oh, boy, this is going to be tough. We, I want to make the playoffs our first year in the league. we got the Chiefs, the Texans, the Ravens, and the Patriots as the top four seeds. Then we got Steelers, Titans, Browns. The Bengals are 6-5, and five, and we are right there, right behind them for the, I think we're the ninth seed right now. So the Bengals and the Browns, if they lose and we win our next game, we are in the playoffs, boys. So before we end it, let me just go see who the Browns and the Bengals are facing. Imagine they're facing each other. Imagine they're facing each other. So the Bengals and the Browns. The Bengals are facing the Steelers. And the Browns are facing the Patriots. That's, I don't, ooh. I don't know about that one now because I, I'd rather the Patriots win because it's a long shot for us to win our division. The Steelers are in the playoffs, so... Steelers are a better team than the Bengals on paper. But it's it's a long shot for us to win a division. If we win the next game, and let's say the Browns win, we'll be a game behind them. And listen, there's a chance, honestly. If we beat the Jags, which I'm going to play the Patriots game. If we sim and beat the Jags, and the Browns end up beating the Patriots, we'll be one game behind them. And if we beat the Patriots in Week 14, we get the division lead. So you know what? F it. I'm cheering for the Browns. I'm cheering for the Browns, but I'm not going to sit in this game in this episode. You have to wait till next episode. Leave it, leave, leave it like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new. GG.